Live over a mobile home park teetering on the edge. An eroding hillside has put homes in danger, and the people who own them say they have been left hanging. Happening at Kimball's mobile home park in San Pablo, one side of the property is bordered by San Pablo Creek. Consumer Watch reporter Julie Watts explains that homeowners can't go home and are in limbo. Patricia Magana struggled to buy this home. Now she's struggling to keep it from sliding into the San Pablo Creek. There is no land anymore over there. The hillside that was under her mobile home now gone, washed away by winter storms. Patricia's is one of six at Kimball's mobile home park that were red tagged six months ago, all deemed unsafe to live in. The homes which they own are now off limits, leaving many homeless searching for places to sleep and near the breaking point. I don't have no other place to go. Uh, we're sleeping on the floor, but I mean, at least we have a place to, to stay right now. The ground underneath their red tagged homes belongs to the mobile home park owner, according to public records, a man named Robert Johansson, who residents say has done nothing to save their homes. It's the landlord's responsibility to address it. Lawyer Krista Conry represents some of the homeowners and says even though they own the homes, they can't move them. Expense aside, she says most existing mobile home parks won't take a damaged home. Because they were renting the spaces that they're in, they essentially have lost all the value of their home as well. While 80% of mobile home parks in California fall under the jurisdiction of a state agency, Kimball's is actually under local jurisdiction, in this case, the city of San Pablo. There is no quick fix, there is no uh, easy solution. Brian Buber oversees code enforcement and says the city has been in touch with the park's owner. I can't get into specific details. All I can tell you is that uh, we're aware of the situation, we're aware of the, 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 the time and, and the frustration. Little solace for these mobile home owners on the edge of losing everything. Even though these mobile homes are small, they're ours. It's affordable for people like us that maybe don't have a very good job. Now, we did make numerous attempts to reach out to this mobile home park owner and his lawyer. They did not respond. The tenants and their lawyers are now planning to sue the owner.